The biggest update for The Witcher 3 in history, or maybe the second biggest right after the next gen update, will hit us on May 21st. All the info in this video. What's up guys, I'm Frankie Boy, and I started this channel with The Witcher 3, and I love this game. It's my favorite game, and I want to talk about it all day. And that's what I do with you guys. So we got a new update from CD Projekt Red, which will be there on May 21st. And this footage right here is from YouTuber Thief bold and he used the update already. I am invited to it as well and as you can see it's the Witcher 3 red kit. But what is the red kit? You can clearly see you can now natively create your own landscapes, own quests, create anything in the Witcher 3. It's basically the Witcher 3's development kit and that is insane and why is it that insane? Because we can now create our own quests or own whole overhaul of all passages of the game of cities of anything we want and this is yet the strongest modding tool the community has ever received i think from a publisher i remember assassin's creed odyssey it had a quest designer tool and yeah it was kind of okay-ish but didn't work out that well right now we have a real development tool to our hands the community has it and we can create our own witcher journeys our own quests our own dlcs anything and everything you can imagine can be created in the witcher 3 from now on the biggest downside is of course it's only for pc players only you can participate in the witcher 3 red kit and it's of course a modding tool which will likely only be available for pc players to install those mods i mean in this footage you can already get a glimpse of what is possible you can go into detail like plant grass at a location you want it, plant a stone at a location you want it, make a path, make NPCs take certain paths after certain events happen in an area, like you go into a certain area and it triggers an event, like Roach appears from nowhere, just an example, or Siri will spawn and talk to you if you enter a certain area. And if you combine that with many events, you can create custom quest lines. You can see, like the landscape right here, it really looks unfinished, but that guy is creating his own area, combining those assets. And you have to look into it, you gotta be careful, I'm developing a game myself right now, and planting too many assets, it can be a problem with the optimization, because not anything can load at the same time. It's like a process. And you can clearly see the path that this game could be taken by like anything can be adjusted there could be new ways to explore the world like new paths created in novigrad simply for you to enjoy like new staircases or so and that has already been possible so kind of with the mods but right now this is i would say the strongest modding tool that had ever existed for the witcher 3 and here's my bet the community will likely make a Witcher 4 in The Witcher 3 before The Witcher 4 comes out. Find me in the comments, but I think the community might be faster. And that's of course due to the fact that this game is already like re relatively polished and this engine and the red kit might be working pretty fine. But also of course a community made game or quest or so, it doesn't need to be perfect. Like The Witcher 3 um, was in a pretty bad state at release, they patched it to almost perfection, but The Witcher 4, our expectations are pretty high even after the disaster of Cyberpunk. In the comments of Reddit, there are people of course complaining about Cyberpunk not having the possibility yet, and yeah, complaining about Bethesda being almost the only really modding community out there but i think people are quite hyped about that new feature and i can see myself testing out those mods all day experiencing new witcher stories of course yeah they are not like voice lined etc but and i mean this could be a big copyright problem but you could take Geralt's voice put it into an ai and put out the quest lines in ai voice but yeah i see a huge copyright problem right there i'm not too sure if that would be legal at all. But at the same time, I can imagine imagine someone will just do it. And yeah, that's how the world works. If you want to get that, it's 60 gigabytes large, the red kit. And yeah, it, it might be not what you expect. It's like really a development kit, as said before. And you can 
plant those assets anywhere and everywhere, make routines for NPCs if something happens, maybe even create dialogues in written form, or maybe you can put in own voice lines, of course, like you could fake it. This will not be added to like the native version of The Witcher 3, it's a separate iteration of the game, let's say. And yeah, don't worry, it's, it's German language right here. I'm extremely sorry for that. Oh, wow. Can't imagine I just played the game 410 hours of my life. Thought it was more, maybe. And yeah, here's someone uh, saying it's too late. Same thing happened to Witcher 1 and 2. Modding tools released too late. I don't think so. I think The Witcher 3 is still relevant to today. It will be more relevant when season 5 hits Netflix. It's the last season and maybe one of the worst seasons. I'm curious. I will watch it and make a review about it. But yeah, my hopes are not high. So that's kind of a good thing if your hopes aren't that high, your expectations aren't so high, you can't be disappointed that easily. And if you say, yeah, it's going to be trash anyways, it might be trash and you're okay with it because you didn't waste your time thinking it's the best series or the best season ever. Speaking of the best season, looking forward to Diablo 4 next season, looking forward to Assassin's Creed Codename Red in the future. I will keep you posted on that topic as well. I am in very close contact with Ubisoft and I might have some exclusive information for you guys. And I will also start a podcast with your Raptor on Assassin's Creed. Uh, I think we're starting next week, right? Yeah, so we want to talk about leaks and all the good stuff happening. So if you like Joe Raptor, you might be home here as well um, to check out the podcast we will be releasing weekly. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all the love. Almost 11k subscribers now on this channel. Almost only Witcher based so far. I did a few Fallout videos, a few Cyberpunk ones. And yeah, I will keep you guys posted on Star Wars this year. And of course on PlayStation topics, because that's a cool thing. Weird flex, but Sony made me a PlayStation playmaker. What an honor. I'm one of like six persons in Germany who became one. And uh, yeah, I will keep you posted on Ghost of Tsushima too, hopefully. I don't have insider information yet on that one. That's why I can talk about it, but hyped about that as well. Enough for the future. Let's see how it will roll out on May 21st with the Red Kit. Looking forward to checking out Nexus mod soon. See you guys in the future and thank you so much for tuning in. Maybe this video is something for you or the other one on the left hand side. Thank you so much for tuning in and goodbye. I will speak to you in the next video.